Hey, my name is Javi, and we're taking a look at the Devil Savior Smash. Appropriately named because I want to smash this f***ing thing to bits. Devil Savior, you've gone and done it again. I love you. Yeah, it's not that bad. This figure's a third-party version of the Constructicon Long Haul from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Insert joke about me falling asleep in the theater. And I couldn't have rewatched that movie without Surfshark VPN. Surfshark's a virtual private network that's available for pretty much everything, and it's gonna allow you to browse the web through a secure and private connection. You could also watch region lock content on Netflix, of course the previously mentioned masterpiece, and the rest of the beloved saga. Thanks a lot, Surfshark. Check out the link in the description description and use my promo code Jobby to get 83% off and three extra months free. And if you find a secure, private, fast connection and access to region lock movies on Netflix is a bad thing, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. You're wrong though. So, Smash over here is the fourth figure in a line of third-party Constructicons. Don't mind the fact that this was DSO4 and Split was DSO1. I'm reviewing them in the order I got them. Fuck off. But Jeremy! Ah! And once all these guys come out, they're gonna be able to combine into a third-party devastator, <laughs> Troublemaker. And in case you missed it, the first figure in this line was not the greatest first impression. Ah! But this guy, let's just say, links in the description. This big green idiot is actually my favorite Revenge of the Fall and Constructicon design, and I hate all of them. For a Decepticon from the Bayverse, this guy is weirdly colorful and blocky. Doesn't look like he's gonna fall apart at the prick of a needle, unlike some people. <laughs> but even then, he falls apart anyway. We'll get to that later. And just like Devil Savior's previous, previous, previous outing, the paint job here is fantastic. But compared to Split, the weathering here doesn't seem as present, and I'm okay with that. I mean, the completed Devastator is gonna have an inconsistent finish, but the less paint on a figure, the better as far as I'm concerned. Less paint to chip. And what paint is on here seems to be pretty durable so far. When I talked about the paint job on Split, I mentioned our god and savior, Otaku Builder, so it only makes sense that I shout out the Holy Son. It's a Gundam! Not you, fucker. He has a Gunpla building channel card. It's a Gunpla, and he's very talented. He also totally didn't steal the name of a series that I used to do. I'll let it slide. For now. Absolute dump truck of a back. But unlike the backpack on Split, which was dumb and stupid and the worst thing I've ever seen, fuck off. This backpack only serves to make this design even more big and hulking. Hulking. Big? Green? Never really made that connection before. He's just like my Smash Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm in K. Rule. How can you tell? Subscribe to Drobby too. Alright, I can't duck under that like J. Lupo. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> not only does he look pretty hefty, he is pretty hefty thanks to some die-cast metal. It's not completely obvious at first glance, but you could definitely feel it during the joy of a transformation. Which reminds me of that one time where I 100% categorically proved that the cold touch technique is effective. Shardamus Prime! Go check out that stream on his channel if you missed it. For such a bulky design, this guy is surprisingly articulated. Not the most articulated, and he's not completely solid, but it's miles above that joint tolerant shit fuck that was split. Matter of fact, some parts on this guy feel too tight. These shoulder ratchets. Ugh. But as long as you slow your roll, take a deep breath, and take your time, about a month's worth, you'll be fine, and you're sure not to break anything. While the materials and the actual plastic quality here is way better than Split, there's still some stupidly brittle parts that can't really stand up to the complexity of the transformation. Whatever, it's still completely functional as a figure, and he can get some pretty decent poses. This is such an improvement over Split that I wish that Devil Savior would go back and redo the damn thing. But to be honest, I want them to redo all their figures at this point. Oh! So, you wanna see this guy and Split? next to each other for size comparison, right? I, I promised myself that I would never remove this guy from the head mode as long as I live. I am not putting myself through the hellfire that was that fucking transformation! Here he is next to Split. After you've gone and reflected on why you're even still breathing, it's time to take out these instructions and prepare yourself for even more pain. These instructions are somehow super clear and super confusing at the same time. With that being said, please enjoy this was a bitch to film.
just pretend that didn't happen. After going through this process once, twice, ten times, I can actually memorize it. I mean, it wasn't exactly a good time, but it didn't make me want to delete the channel. And ultimately, it was worth it because this dump truck is awesome. This amazing paint job makes this earth mover more than a glorified Tonka toy. The dirt in the wheels is a nice touch. And you gotta love that denial of intellectual theft. The figure makes me appreciate the design of the real life vehicle even more. Those things are awesome, and the size of this figure doesn't do the real thing justice. All the tabs and pegs during the transformation fit really well together here. Nice and solid, it better be. And he rolls alright. Something's missing though. Don't you think that this dump truck feels a bit empty without some trash? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I fit in there? Oh! So you want to see this guy's vehicle mode next to Split's vehicle mode? <laughs> no. To get this guy into his third and final mode, we'll have to transform him back into his robot mode, kind of. Not what the instructions say, but it makes it much easier. This peg here is super tight, sand that down. That side skirt connection is super tight. Sand that down! I 
I forgot to plug the missiles into the back of his leg, so you're gonna see some shots where they're not there. And here we have the leg mode, which is somewhat underwhelming. It's far from bad, actually, it's pretty good. Well proportioned, movie accurate, it's a leg. What the hell do I even say? It holds together really well, but the trade off is it's not that poseable. A pretty decent pivot is all he's got. No swivels. No swivels. Oh! It only makes sense that you would want to see the leg mode next to Split's head mode, but that would mean I would- Seeing these guys- <laughs> Seeing these guys next to each other is really exciting. Might not look like much when they're side to side, but if you just imagine these guys in context, this is gonna be a big boy. I'm really looking forward to seeing this abomination put together, but I'm not exactly looking forward to putting them together. What can I say? I love pain. Devil Savior really saved themselves with this guy. While not as durable as I would like and the transformation is still kind of a bitch, it's not that much of a bitch. A big, chunky foot that should hold up the weight of his massive balls. You know I had to mention it at some point. I'm in the scrooge! Okay, can we take a break from Transformers for real this time? Maybe. See you in another month. <laughs>